Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you know, this is the eight day. Come on, somebody, six days, and we almost finished. Praise God of the full liquid fast. And every day I've been coming with a word from God and just a sharp Bible study. Well, this one I want to talk about is you must watch who you connect with in this hour. They're sending witches, warlocks. Let me tell y'all something. And I have to get off the subject just for a minute, but I, it's actually around the subject. I just posted something um, and I deleted it. I'm going to tell you why I deleted it because I don't like mess on my line. I'm going to say it again. I don't like mess on my page or whatever. I would delete you. It don't even matter. Not, but I have a problem with that. And what I'm saying is that, okay, so anyway, it was a young lady that had lost her father. All right. And so she was just texting. All right. Now I want y'all to walk with me because one thing I'm learning, and that's why God been walking, working with me with, you have to be spirit, spiritually mature and not emotionally bound. Listen to me when I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk with this thing. So long story short, she had, she been texting this number for four years. So dad's number. All right. So finally a guy answered and texted her back and said, you know, it's been four years. They're gone. I, I lost my that that was just a coincidence. Y'all are very babe in Christ, very much a babe in Christ. Now I'm going to break that thing down. So y'all understand. And number one, when you address me and I'm in the office, address me as the office. I'm in, don't call me Deanna unless you know me personally. And that's straight up off the top. That's why some of y'all can't get blessed now because y'all don't honor who God's honor. Oh, come on somebody. I'm on one already. Don't call me Deanna unless you're going to get Deanna. Mm. Why did God? And it's not about a title. Let me, let me go ahead and clarify that as well. God calls you who you are. God ordains you who you are according to your gift. So it ain't no arrogance. It ain't no trying to be all that. All right. So that's number one. Number two, when you are emotional, that's how the enemy can get you. This is going to be a hard one today. I'm telling y'all right now, y'all should have never started me. And I'm not mad. I'm explaining something. So understand the difference. When you are emotional, you say things, you do things, you act out. Now, now let's go ahead and cipher this thing because I'm talking about the same thing about witches and warlock. So first of all, this was the young lady's issue. If she really was a child of God, she didn't know her, her father was with God. She wouldn't be texting a phone number for four years. That's the first thing. The second thing, you mean to tell me that God is a delayed God where God is going to connect people after four years? The first day that girl texted that man, he would have said, you know what? This is not, um, well, God bless you. You know, something God would have, God don't elude people. God don't take you on long trips, baby. God don't do that. Come not to God we serve. And I can show you that biblically. So I, what I put on the post is that he's messing with her mind. Yes, he is. Cause after four years, after getting all her texts, I've been wanting to text you, but I didn't want to break your heart. So why are you texting her now? And y'all really think, now, now, now let's go back. Them people are watching everything we say and do. You think they don't know she's been texting that number for four years? Y'all know black women coming up missing. Uh, it ain't just about black because I love all my sisters. Any kind of color, y'all all beautiful. But this is not the day and age where I miss my dead daddy so I'm going to connect with a stranger. What's wrong with y'all? And y'all, come in, wait a minute. Don't come on my live. Don't come on my page disrespecting nobody. You must be crazy. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't play that because that's not how we're going to roll. It's okay to disagree, but understand things because that's what's wrong with the body of Christ. That's why we're in trouble now. Y'all so emotional. Well, I lost my I lost my mother too in 1996 and I haven't been the same. But I bet you I'm not going to text no number and... and let me go ahead and tell y'all what happened since, since we opened up this world, man, when mama died, the first week she died, I thought I saw her. Now I have seen her. Okay. But I thought I saw her. And then I look, I said, get out of here. You demon. That thing looked just like my mother. Y'all ain't ready for me on here. So I wasn't being insensitive. Let's go here. I'm not trying to act like I'm all arrogant. Because I'm not high-minded. I'm a prophet of God. I don't see how y'all see. I don't hear how y'all hear. And I'm not trying to clown. My sight scares me sometimes. Truth be told. 
I know so much sometimes, God, 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 I just got to go to sleep on it because it's so heavy. So when I see something, when I comment, when I post something, it is not about the carnal. It is not about, I'm just getting in with the mess of y'all. No, I didn't already went to God and I'm not going to hurt nobody unless God says to say what he tells me to say or put up. And to be honest with you, I'm a person that's trying to, I'm a watchman. I'm watching out for y'all souls. So truth be told, I don't owe y'all no explanation. Hallelujah. But I'm just being nice today because I see that some of y'all, y'all really, man, y'all better get this thing. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to slow it down a little bit more. I see what y'all were talking about. Well, maybe God sent somebody to comfort her. God is the comforter. The Holy Spirit is the comforter. That's that's what I've been trying to tell y'all. We have replaced God with man, with woman, with books, with sex, with drugs, with alcohol. And y'all wonder how the enemy getting in because we're so emotional. And you know why we're so emotional, people of God? Because we're so broken. And you know why we're so broken, people of God? Because we love God. And you know why we love God? Because we started getting closer in this world, getting comfortable in this world. Now do you hear me? Now do you hear me for real? Hallelujah. So when I post something, don't act like I'm I'm very sensitive. I love people of God. I love every last one of y'all. Don't get it twisted now. The ones I'm talking to, I ain't mad at you. I'm just correcting you. Stop being so emotional and start being relational. God, what do you say about this subject? And it goes back to this subject I'm talking about. They're sending warlocks and witches. So if they send in warlocks and witches, and I'm not talking about, and people are dying and wind up missing, you're going to just text another person and become close with them without consulting God? That's where I was going with that post. But some of you, you came after other people on my page. You started acting crazy. Oh, my God. The body of Christ, y'all, we in trouble, yeah. We in trouble. Y'all have made me um go back country, yeah, talking about, yeah. We in trouble. And I see why we have really got distant from the spirit of God because God is going to tell you what to say, what to do. And God is going to, let me tell you something. God is your ears and God is your eyes. God will protect you. God will show you. God will send wisdom and discernment in your, in your spirit. Hallelujah. That's why most people after that, this stuff with all this stuff going on, I ain't even saying that man no more name no more. I'm done with that subject. Because once God tells me something, I'm done with it. Now we just going to wait for exposure. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? Y'all better count the calls. I've said this a thousand times and I'm going to say it again. When you meet someone, I don't care who it is. Father God, who is this before me? Who is this God? Did you send them or did the devil send them? Because I promise you somebody sent them. People just don't show up because the Bible says nothing just happens. The Bible said that he has ordained the, the beginning to the end. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Count the cost and be careful who you connect to because I'm going to be honest with you. You know what most people connect for? Let them have it going on. Oh, come on, somebody. Let them have money. Let them be fine. Y'all are connected to somebody not even asking God. Why y'all think people getting killed these days, even by their own spouses? Because y'all sitting up there being carnal, talking about, well, they fine. They got a good credit score. Everybody like them. A lot of people liked um, Lucifer as he was the choir director from heaven until he uh, fooled everybody, fooled the angels. <laughs> and you know, he had to have a strong deception going on to fool God angels. That was God angels. Oh, come on, somebody. It was a war in heaven. That man, that thing created a war in heaven. And guess what? Now he is creating a war on earth. Oh, and nobody want to talk to me. Talk to me. Why y'all think it is so much mayhem? And all it is is, if you really want to know, it's the spirit of Cain and Abel all over again. Abel, which I'm going to represent Abel right now. I just want to do what God, I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to do what God want me to do. And ain't nobody going to stop me. How about that? Do whatever you got to do to me. You ain't going to stop me. Hey, now, King, King, you just want to do what you want to do. All right. That's what, there it is. And, and, and we're getting into it because now you mad at me. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God up in here. Now you mad at me because I want to do what God wanted. Well, well, you, you have to save my opportunity, King. 
Oh, I'm sorry. You want to do what you want to do. Okay, Cain. Well, go ahead and kill me, Cain, if you want to. I'm talking about in the spirit because I rebuke that. I ain't speaking nothing on my life. Such a power with God and a relationship with God that he going to hear my blood speak. Woo, y'all ain't ready for me this on here. There's power in the blood, Cain. You can't shut me up, Cain. Even after I'm gone, Cain. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff real. Don't y'all know they've been trying to sh shut up the people of God since the beginning? <laughs> y'all ain't ready for me. And all it is is God just want us to go home and be and be with him. But the devil saying, no, I want y'all to come with me since I messed up. Oh, come on, somebody. I, I, I'm just I'm just paraphrasing it. You like that? Because that's what he's doing. And whatever it takes, what is it going to take for you to come with me? Uh, am I going to give you a husband, a wife, or some money, some fame? So what, what you want? What you want? Because he a hustler. What you want? Because I got it. Y'all better count the cost and quit playing. The only time I see people get serious, unfortunately, is when they have day or they know they dying. We have the opportunity right now. God, help me. God, let me see. God, I repent. This stuff is not a game. But I'm going to tell you what he said since the beginning of the time. He said, oh, stick enough children of Israel. You know what stick enough mean? You want to do what you want to do. How long must I suffer with thee? Even Jesus told that to the apostles. How long? How, how long? How long are you going to play this game? And then when something happened, oh God, that's the first thing y'all call on. But as long as y'all doing what y'all want to do, uh -huh, you won't listen to nobody. Oh, I said it like I saying it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me get up off of here. Y'all is I don't know why y'all be starting me. But I I love you. And I ain't look, I don't get offended. But I'm gonna get it right. Cause that's what this is about. It's about all of us getting it right. And hold on. I've never met one person one person that was always wrong. But this is why I get upset when it comes to this stuff about the prophetic. Number one, it's not my gift. It belongs to God. Number two, if you don't know my character by now, that I'm only going to say what God say to say, and I'm only going to put up what God want me to put up, then you don't know Apostle Deanna Dixon. And, and I'm cool with that too. God bless you. You know what I'm saying? Now y'all ain't made me got cool on y'all, you know? <laughs> Let me get off of here. I'm already gone. Look, this has been eight days full liquid, but I'm loving it. On the spiritual side, you know, it's not an easy fast. I'm going to tell y'all that now, but it is definitely needful in this hour. And I thank God for everybody. And I just pray that you stay strong. Even if you're not on the fast, just stay strong. Get better. Don't get bitter. And listen to God. And, and, and I'm telling you, I'm serious about this emotional thing. God had to deal with me. If you was following me about two, three years ago, and if you don't believe me, go find some of my videos about two, three, how about four years ago. I'd be hollering on here. I could, God had to say, Deanna, what you doing? I said, yeah, I called you, but you tripping. I was so emotional. So my, nobody couldn't tell me. No, I mean, and I'm just being honest with y'all because I need that. And I was still growing like I am now. So I get it. But that's one thing that's stopping the growth from the body of Christ. Everybody's getting their feelings and everybody get mad. No, no. Can you stop and listen? Because you might not be. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. They're trying to cut me off, y'all. Oh, they don't like this power. They don't like this power. They've been messing with me all. I don't know how long. You, you know, y'all know what time it is. This stuff is real. And thank you, Lord. I hear you. you know what God told me to tell y'all? This is the end. It's the last days. And some of you mad because you like earth. Well, I ain't never liked it here. I'm going to tell you the truth. And I ain't trying to hurt myself. Don't get it twisted. But I just know that there's a better. I read that Bible and I know the spirit of God. In his presence, there's life. In his presence, there's life. In his presence, there's life and no death. And he already said, he said, you are not of this world. So you're not supposed to be comfortable. So I'm going to leave y'all with this, my brothers and my dear sisters. Why is it that you're so comfortable in this world if you belong to God? I'm just asking a question. I mean, you don't have to answer me because I'm nobody. You know what I'm saying? Hello. How you doing? Mm -hmm. All right. God bless you. <laughs> God keep you. I love you. I really do. Even if we disagree, I really do. I'm not just saying that. So I hope you'll have a blessed day. Be strong in the Lord. And this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.